You're listening to the Everything Kids Books Podcast, hosted by Erin Mackey, a podcast for little learners and their parents who love to read together, as well as the authors who write the books they love. Erin's written over 20 books for elementary and middle schoolers and has published five books. Together, we'll be reading chapters of your favorite books, sharing your original works, giving writing and marketing tips, and interviewing other professionals in the children's book profession. Let's dive in, shall we? Hello, everyone, and thank you for listening to Everything Kids Books. I'm your host, Erin Mackey, and today's episode will be about making your picture book characters come to life. I have been writing children's books for 19 years now, but I have become a much more active author over the past seven years since I published my first book. This year, I took part in a manuscript submission day on Twitter called PitMad. This is when authors send out a tweet submitting a short hook about their book, along with appropriate hashtags to let publishers and agents know what genre their story falls into. I participated in a free online course to prepare for PitMad, and while taking this course, I came to realize that my picture books were lacking the normal character development that I strive for in my chapter books. It's so easy to get lost in painting the picture with just the illustrations in a picture book, but you can't let your characters fall flat or you will hurt your story. Readers, publishers, and especially agents want characters that are vibrant and relatable. I wanted to share this realization with you, along with two steps that will help you to complete this important step in your own picture books. Remember, if I read my story and I can't picture my characters, how can I ask an illustrator to create them accurately for me? Your characters and the setting should paint the picture in your mind for your book when you're reading it. Now, the first step that you can do is to make sure to incorporate physical descriptors for your characters. Hair color, eye color, body shapes and sizes, heights. Let your reader picture your character before they even look at the illustration. The second step you want to take is to add personality or family dynamic descriptors to bring your character to life. Are they the youngest in the family? Are they an only child? Are they rambunctious or shy? These all add depth of character to keep them from being flat. It helps your readers to be able to relate to the character in the story and feel like they're part of the story itself. These two important steps will help to bring your picture books more to life. I personally still need to complete this for a lot of my picture book manuscripts that I had completed, but I felt it was important to share this step with you because it was a shock to me to realize that I was missing this vital step in my picture books when I spend so much time focusing on it in my chapter books. So please make sure you are writing relatable, vibrant characters that tell the story even without the illustrations. The illustrations should enhance the reader's vision of what the characters look like. That's it for today's show. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed the episode and found it helpful. As always, I would love to hear what topics you would like me to cover in future episodes, so shoot me an email with your suggestions, and I'll work them into a future show. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless each of you. Thanks for listening to Everything Kids Books. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review in Apple Podcast. Do you have a favorite children's book? Do you have an original book or chapter that you've written? Email it to Erin at erinmackeyauthor at yahoo.com. It could be featured on the next episode. For more information, to see Erin's published books, and to sign up for Erin's newsletter, visit www.erinmackeyauthor.com. Until next time, keep reading and keep writing.